build this boat, we're going to need some parts and some pieces. So I'm going to go over them real quick, but I'm also putting them in the description. So if you check the description, there'll be a list of all the pieces that you'll need for this. So first up, you're going to need to cut 20 of these pieces. These are 3 quarter inch PVC pipe, schedule 40, and these are 2 inches long. These will become the connectors between the couplets. You're going to need two pieces like this. These are five and a quarter inch long, three quarter inch pipe. You're going to need two of these. Now you're going to need four of these pieces. These are three and three eighth inch long, basically the same length as your standard coupling. This is one inch pipe and the inside was sanded so that it will easily fit over your three quarter inch pieces. It's going to serve as sort of a coupling in and of itself. So you're going to need four of those. You're going to need 12 T connectors that have been sanded to fit over three quarter inch pipe. It's a little bit of work. Basically, I just used a piece of sandpaper wrapped around a dowel and I just sanded the inside until it would slide easily over a three quarter inch pipe. So you're going to need 12 of those. You're also going to need three standard T connectors that haven't been modified in any way. You're going to need two cross connectors that have been sanded to fit over a three quarter inch pipe. You don't want to be the fit. You don't want the fit to be too loose, but you don't want it to be too snug either. We're going to be using glue to secure everything, so it doesn't have to be super tight. We're also going to need three normal cross connectors. One of these we're going to be cutting and shaping a little later, but for right now, we just need three regular connectors. We're going to need eight elbow connectors. And all of these couplings or connectors are three quarter inch couplings. You're going to need two pieces of three quarter inch PVC pipe cut to four feet long. You're going to need two pieces of three quarter inch PVC pipe cut to nine inches long each. And you're going to need four 5 16 inch thick uh, fiberglass rods. These are four foot long each. So we can put these on the side for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of run through and do a, a dry run and see how everything will fit together. So I'm just going to go ahead and assemble everything. So first I'm going to start off with my end pieces, and that is going to use one of these, the end connector that slides over, so these are just the smaller connector pieces. You don't want to drive them in all the way, or you won't be able to take them out afterward. Take the elbows. And here's one end of the bow assembled. This is going to go over the end of your center pipes. I'm going to put this down for now.
make another one. Here's the other tip. Now we're going to start assembling our handle section. So you take one of these pieces, one of your centers, or one of your one inch pieces, This is going to be your handle section. Now, Here's our handle. So this is you know, this is what the handle is going to look like. Kind of a funky thing, but here's the handle. And then this is going to. Complete your riser section with the other one inch pieces sitting in between, and this will brace between the two legs. So that's how everything connects together. Basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead now that this is kind of how it will all go together. I'm going to go sand all of my couplings, paint all my couplings and finish everything up and then I'm going to put everything together. And it's really simple. You want to take your two pipes, line up the ends here, there's one end. You're going to want to drive the riser section in like this until it's until this coupling is right at the midpoint of the pipe. These two pieces are going to slide on. This is going to slide on top of that and then this is going to finish up the other end and go on top.
that's going to be our bow. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to finish up all my couplings. What you want to do is finish up all the couplers, but you don't want to paint your main pipes. You don't want to paint the tips, the forefoot pipe. Right now, you just want to leave those bare because we're going to actually be doing something else to them before we fit this whole thing together. You also want to put your uh, this T connector or this cross connector here. You want to put this on the side. This is going to become our captive rest. So I'm going to keep this on the side for right now. Don't finish it up yet. So here we go.